Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to A Drink With Crazy. I am tired again. <laughs> oh, the day job. But anyway, what's going on with Top Gun Maverick? What is happening here? So, this movie got announced... Uh, when did the movie get announced? I'm tired, don't judge. It's called A Drink With Crazy. This movie gets announced years ago. And I'm like, and, and like, and Top Gun is easily in my top 10, right? I personally think that it is the best role that Tom Cruise has ever done. You can fight me. I don't care. He's done some good roles. Some people might argue Jerry Maguire, but... I haven't seen Jerry Maguire. So in my personal opinion of what I have seen from Tom Cruise, it's his best role. They announced this movie and I'm like, oh, I'm so tired of reboots. I'm so tired of sequels. I'm just, I like, I was done with it years ago. And like, I still haven't seen this movie because I have four kids and, and it's dude, it's a pain in the ass to take like four kids to a movie and like a movie theater. It just parents out there, please sympathize with me. You know, and not only that, we live in a small town. It's a half hour away to the closest movie theater. I don't even know if they were playing it. Anyway, a lot of reasons I haven't seen Top Gun Maverick, but like, I gotta apparently see this thing. What is going on? I was wrong. I was 100% wrong on this movie. Let's get into it. So this is uh, Yahoo Entertainment. I don't know if they're a trusted source. Make your mind up. I just, I heard about this and I was like, what? So I, I looked as Top Gun Maverick. Top Gun Maverick passes the Avengers as the ninth highest grossing domestic release in history. Paramount Supersonic Blast Talk Top Gun Maverick has grossed 600, uh, $623.8 million in North America, overtaking the Avengers to become the ninth grossing movie in domestic box office history. Who would have called this? Did you call it? I didn't. Like, and again, Top Gun is easily in my top 10. So... Movie comes out, people are like, man, it's great, you gotta see it. And I'm like, eh. and then everybody that I watch online, like, and I watch people from like the Critical Drinker to Jeremy Johns, uh, Geeks and Gamers crowd, Nerdrotic, a couple other people too, but they're not coming to my mind right now because I'm tired. <sighs> what did I miss? I mean, Supposedly, they obviously didn't do the modern day politics in it. They didn't inject those in there. That's absolutely fantastic, man. But I mean, Top Gun for me was one of those movies that like I just sit down and watch and I just enjoy my brain. Like I if there is a bad movie on, I can't turn my brain off because my brain kicks into high gear and I'm going, well, that's messed up. That's messed up. That's messed up. my brain doesn't turn off when there is a good movie with mostly solid writing because you could probably pick apart any movie out there right and there there are movies that i'm like yeah nope caught that problem don't even care the rest of the movie was great but with top gun like this was one of those movies like my wife had never seen top gun until a few years ago right actually until like a year ago i tried to get her to watch it with me one time she fell asleep she, uh, I'm like, and then the problem is we try to watch movies at like 11 o'clock at night because, you know, the kids were in bed and we finally wound down. But I didn't see this. I didn't. This is what, 30 years later, almost 40 years later. What? I, what's going on? What's what's happening here? What am I missing? Are like. Does, does the culture that I miss and like wish that we could kind of get back to, does that still exist? 
because I flat out was like, dude, this movie's going to suck. It's 30 years later. This is just a cash grab. And I mean, if this is a cash grab, this is a really, really good cash grab. But anyway, back to my wife. My wife fell asleep. She didn't watch it. I finally get her to watch Top Gun. My baby. She's like, hey, let's have a movie now. I'm like, sweet. It's like 7 o'clock. Her kids are older. They're playing outside. And I'm like, Betty, you got to watch Top Gun. And she's like, well, is that? I'm like, no. Like, if we're watching a movie night, you are watching Top Gun. Uh, we're ruling this. Don't care. That's what we're watching. Got it on DVD. We're putting it in. I personally believe in buying as many DVDs as you can possibly have because we're starting to see some retroactive changes with all the digital stuff. She sits down. She watches it with me, and she goes, I wish that movie was about an hour and a half longer. She goes, that was incredible. I'm like, I told you. And me being that cocky, me being this loud guy here, I will admit to my mistakes. And uh, I'm doing that here in a cheeky way. There are other, like, uh, you know, there are other things that, like, if you guys point out mistakes, I'm starting to think, like, maybe I'll do, a, like, a mistakes video. Like, if I get something really wrong and you guys want to call me out on it, put it down in the comments. I'll do a video on it. I Because admitting to my mistakes, doing the research, and correcting myself is only going to make me smarter. So when you guys correct me, you're making me better. Just think about that. What am I missing here? It surpasses. It's 623 million. I, I haven't seen the movie yet. Again, it's hard to get to it. But as a fan of the original movie, I mean, dude, I almost dragged my guitar, my amplifier, and like had to and, and was going to quick learn the freaking intro and do the intro that way. I should do that, but also I don't have the setup to pull that off currently. I could jack. I don't know. Maybe I could. My amp's pretty good. This is insane. What is it about this movie that I absolutely missed? I know when they were get early on, they were saying that they removed the Taiwanese flag to bow down to like the China market. And I was like, oh, screw it. They're going with all this crap. And, and But it didn't turn. I, mean, I don't know. I, maybe they put the flag back on. I heard they did. I don't know. But a reboot, or a, uh, I'm sorry, a sequel 30 years later? Most of them suck. At best, they suck. Well, at best, they're serviceable as a popcorn flick. But Top Gun Maverick seems to be absolutely crushing in the box office. And I look at this and I'm thinking, maybe this is not the, maybe this is more cultural than it is the movie. And I'm doing this video because I can't figure it out. People are telling, and I've heard from people, they're like, man, if you saw the first one, you kind of know what happened in the second one, but it doesn't matter because the second one's still done really well. And that gets me, you know, that gets me to like, uh, you know, when we did Ghost of Tsushima, we did a Ghost of Tsushima review on the channel years ago when Ghost of Tsushima came out. And Ghost of Tsushima didn't do anything new, but what it did, it did very well. And apparently that's what's happening here. And me, I always try to attack things from a different angle. That's why, although I've been talking about Young Rippa and the Rippaverse a lot and like what's going on there, I am trying to attack those larger concepts by using the pop culture phenomena that's happening. And I I, I guess I, I just have to see this movie to understand. But I don't know. I don't know. Cause because every every human being seems to be so arrogant. And this is probably this is probably just me thinking, well, I would probably enjoy it, but nobody else would. Right? Because you always cause cause everybody always has that little thing inside their head where they kind of other people. And I'm just wondering like because I wrote this movie off and I was like, oh, who's going to like it? And they're like, man, it's just a good movie. Got a strong male lead, fighter pilots, stunts, action, all the stuff that I love. Practical effects. Thank you. Practical effects. Mm. Sorry. Practical effects are so good because, you know, they actually happen. But. For this movie to have the legs that it has, and it's still going and still going and still going, like there's this spark inside of me that's just like, holy crap, maybe, 
maybe I was wrong about our culture. Am I am I too enveloped in the internet culture? What's happening with the culture war side of things? What's happening with just the vitriol that gets spewed from both sides online? You do see it more from one side, but it does come from the other side. And I'm just trying to grasp in my head what is it about this movie and what in the culture was I wrong about in society? I, I'm apparently wrong about what my view of what American society was. Maybe there, and that's probably a larger conversation that I had, and that's probably my own arrogance. But help me figure this out legitimately comment to me tell me dude you're an idiot how could you not i don't know what's going on with a a a, a 30 year sequel what's going on with this thing because i don't understand it and instead of just getting up here and be like top gun maverick is totally showing all the wokesters the blah 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 eh, eh, eh. too many people are talking about that already that's fine what did i miss I get it. It wasn't woke. I get it. It was, you know, it was, is you know, Tom Cruise is a, is a really, really good actor. Top Gun being his best movie ever. I will fight you. What is it about this movie? Because I have to see it now. I don't know if I'm going to be able to until it gets released on DVD. What did I get wrong here? Because I wrote this movie off as just... I mean, it. they were like, oh, we're going to do a Top Gun. It's going to be called Maverick. And I'm like, oh, first of all, I thought the title was stupid. Right? Top Gun Maverick. I'm like, oh, God. I was like, it's going to be stupid, right? Turns out it's not. Turns out it's great. Turns out I was wrong. And I... I want to light a fire under whatever ass I need to my own first and then someone else's to figure out how to keep that cultural thing going because I've heard about the movie I've heard what it's doing and apparently there's a culture out there that exists that I want to see more of and I want to I want to shout to the rooftops and figure out how to get it there how do how do I spread that culture what am I because if I'm missing pieces I can't do that properly So tell me, tell me in the comments below, what am I missing? Is there something deeper here? Was I wrong about the American culture? Because I thought, I thought the Top Gun culture, the, you know, that culture, I thought that died a long time ago. And it looks like I was wrong. So hopefully you guys don't mind this video. I just... I saw this and I was like, man, I gotta, I gotta at least say something about it. This is crazy. This is baffles me. So let me know in the comments below. What am I missing? What am I missing? Because I'm missing something. And the more things that I miss, the more things that I'm wrong about. I have to, I, I, I'm thinking about doing a, a video, another correcting my mistakes video, um, about something that I said involving the minimum wage and you know, the, you know, kind of the racist origins of the, the minimum wage laws that was passed. It was a Cato Institute article that came out 2019, I think. Um, and somebody kind of was like, no, that's not where minimum wage started. It didn't have its roots there. And so I was probably wrong on that. So I'm thinking of doing a video on that because I think it's really important to clear up even my minor mistakes, because the more mistakes I clear up, the better it is for myself, for my children, for my wife, and for anybody who wants to check out the channel. So, let me know. And thank you guys so much for checking out A Drink With Crazy. I'll see you next time. Cheers. Thank you for watching A Drink With Crazy. If you liked the conversation, make sure to click here to see more.